Oh my word, guys! Look at that! Hey, we're Colin and Meg. And along with our girls, we love trying new foods, experiencing new cultures, Woo! and finding the most beautiful places in the world. In 2021, we began traveling full time and started way up in Alaska. We took an RV trip through the Scottish Highlands. We lived in the old city of Dubrovnik. We learned how to make paella in Barcelona and ended the year exploring the beaches of southern Portugal. 2022 is a whole new adventure and we're excited to take you along for the journey. Follow along. We're going to Maui this morning. It's 5.45 a.m. We got 15 minutes for coffee. Am I right? <laughs> well, I almost went to Maui without the camera. <laughs> you guys ready to go to Maui? That would have been really yeah. sad. <laughs> Here we go. Maui! Let's go! The transportation security... Welcome to Maui. sunset at Haleakala National Park and so we start driving up the mountain the vegetation starts changing there's all these different plants we're so cool and then all of a sudden there's a break and now we're in an open pasture green rolling hills there's a rainbow over there it's it's gorgeous and we have about 40 minutes left to get to the National Park so let's go we made it you know what the weather forecast is? <laughs> it changes a lot. You don't know if it's gonna clear up, do you? No. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Baby, don't haunt. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, I signaled them. If you haven't gotten this card yet, get it. If you live in America and or you're a citizen here, you should get one of these. Go to a national park. It's good for your health. Doctors in Canada was recently pre able to prescribe patients with okay. go to a national park. And so I think we should do the same. Get you one of these. If you're gonna go to multiple national parks a year, worth it. Only you can stop the fire. And if you bring chips up to the mountain, they pop at 9,000 feet. <laughs> hey, no, walk on the sand. Because I don't want you to scratch your legs, okay? You can play music, just no drones. This can play a guitar. Yeah. Oh, drones, not drums. I, I said, I said, can, can you play a guitar? The Mikris are all set here. Station one. We got the GoPro. Station number two. We got snacks. We got. I moved the suitcases to put them next to the car and then right in front of me is this gorgeous, gorgeous view. This sunset is gonna be spectacular. Hawaii! Hawaii! 
Should I drink this while the sun goes down? Or this? My By time. the way that my kids are acting, I think I need this. Don't put that in the vlog. No. <laughs> Here we go. Settling in. Oh, this is pretty awesome, Meg. I know. Look at this. Say hi to Lemmy. All cozy. Yeah, cozy. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, too. Sorry. Sorry. Say sunset, funset. Sunset, funset. Say Hawaii, wowie. Hawaii, wowie. <laughs> Hawagi. <laughs> I mean, say Hawagi. Hawagi. <laughs> All right, we're about we're about thirty minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. How many minutes, babe? I have no idea. All right, we're about fifteen minutes from sunset. sunset was really beautiful and like an hour and a half ago it was raining on the way up here we're 9,000 feet high lots of rain lots of fog couldn't see anything told Colin it was a mistake a waste of our time and he just got quiet I thought he just wanted to look for birds but he said I which just I which he did but then he said I just want to try our chances you know we're only here for a few days and he's right it's beautiful. <laughs> Who knew that we'd come above the clouds? Not me. What'd you say? I don't know what this is. That's an old coconut. I can eat you. Well, I can eat you. Later. Later, bud. I'm not a huge waterfall person. If you are, this is the place to be. Um, but we got lots more to see today. Vamos. Hot takes on the road to Hana. Megan, I am concentrated. I'm trying to drive, keep our family safe. I cannot be vlogging right now. But this road is gorgeous. Turns galore. You gotta keep your eyes on the road. 10-2, baby. And um, it's not for the faint of heart. One lane's out of nowhere, boom. So you gotta, every now and then. Uh, but wow, beautiful views. There's certain hairpin turns that you're just covered in bamboo forests, waterfalls, moss, the age of your great-grandmother's great-grandma. Like, this tropical rainforest is just beautiful. Aunt Sandy's famous banana bread. The banana bread you've been driving for. That's what the sign says. We got here at 2.31. They close at 2.30 and they're sold out of banana bread. 
I mean, talk about heartbreak. It's pretty heartbreaking. Well, our kids are asleep. I think we're just gonna head back. Well, I wanna go to this lookout up here. Yes, ma'am. Um, kids are asleep, so after Twin Falls, we decided to keep driving the road to Hana, and this is about halfway, and it's really beautiful. There's got the ocean hitting the cliffs right here, that over there, just beautiful. Um, and I think this is as far as we're gonna get. We're only in Maui for a few days. I think if you wanted to do the whole road, it could take an entire day, more than a day, multiple days, depending on how many times you stop. Um, so yeah, this was a good stopping point for us with the age of our kids and their interest in the things of nature. <laughs> so we're gonna head back home and um, yeah, figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of our evening. But it's beautiful and definitely worth the drive. The plants, the trees, just beautiful. In a very, very perfect, ideal world, I'd be sitting up here against this lava rock overlooking the ocean with my warm, hot loaf of banana bread. But it's okay. It's okay, I'm still here. And I'm about to get wet! <laughs> I should get down this rock. No worries. If, if Aunt Sandy can't get you, just leave the town, drive two minutes, and you'll end up halfway to Hana. And there's a long line. Let's see what they got. Um, can you get live once banana bread? And then maybe a pineapple smoothie, please? Here we are, halfway to Hana. Banana bread. Coffee, happiness. <laughs> happiness. <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm. Can it open? Do what? Yes, don't, do, don't be that person. I'm just happy. <laughs> Got a whole loaf to yourself. <laughs> Megan said, um, I'll get a nice coffee. I'll share banana bread with you. I said, I'm not sharing. <laughs> it's your own. Uh, excuse me. Maybe is it good? That one here. So they get Speechless, one really. Alright girls, that's like a little much for everyone around you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Calm down, calm down. We're, we're just not there yet. Where are you going? Hey chicken, take care of our car. No, don't. No, take care of the car. Uh. He's not taking care of the car. Oh gosh. Alright, let's wait, stay right here. Cool. Look at the trees, Char. And that is a whole grove of these rainbow eucalyptus trees. Whole grove! That is a banana tree that is flowering. How cool! Give us some good banana bread. Thank you. Okay, so a few weeks ago, Airbnb sent out a general email to all the Live Anywhere participants. They sent out an email saying, hey, is anyone on the West Coast on these certain dates? Um, we're trying to make some content for the platform. So I wrote back and I said, we're going to be in San Francisco for, for one day. If, if that helps, we would love to be part of it. Well, 
a few phone calls and a few emails later, um, here we are in Maui and the team decided to come out here to Maui to do, um, to do some video work. And honestly, I have no clue what it's for, what they're doing, but we have a full-on schedule and a whole day of filming. Um, so we're gonna try our best to be ourselves. <laughs> and I asked them if we could do some behind the scenes and they said sure, so I'm gonna do my best to do that too. All right, deep breaths, let's go. It's 8.35, they're supposed to be here at nine. Whew. That's whole 25 minutes of what do you do? You know? Yes, ma'am. That's getting hairspray now. I just hope I'm what they wanted. You know? <laughs> I didn't expect how detailed all of the shots and takes and plans. This is location one of four today. So yeah, I'm just along for the ride. It's fun. Ready, set, cut, filming. Do it again. Do it again. One more time. <laughs> Pretty gorgeous. Can you try this? Hold on, I gotta try the um, frame on. Girls. Maybe try <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what are we eating, Meg? What did you make for dinner? Uh, shrimp and rice. I don't even know what you're eating. Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah, fresh. So today is a really special day because Colin and I are going on a whale excursion without the girls. Where are they? We have no clue. <laughs> Some friends are watching them oh. and we are just so excited because this is like a whale tour where you, it's only 24 people, it's not a big cruise and it's on a raft and they say you can get a lot closer. It's whale season in Maui so we just feel like we need to give it a try. Yes. So that's what we're gonna do. Great, we're late. Let's go. Bye. Let's go. We're seeing a lot of like humps, like the backs of the humpback whales. And it was like, all right, lots of whale watching, lots of whale waiting. And we're like looking out, I see a couple whales, but then I see one off in the distance where the water's really rough. One second. Maybe I'm 75% sure it was a whale. I say something to the captain, I lose confidence as soon as I say something because we have to turn the boat around. I'm like, dang it, I'm wasting everybody's time. And then there's a little baby and the baby's breaching over and over and over. Everyone's like, come on, let's see a mom. And then the mom breaching over and over, got soaking wet, the waves were crashing, but I was so happy. It's like the 
the most beautiful show. And the captain even gave me a shout out. He said, thanks for finding the whale. Yeah, just, it was awesome. <laughs>